name's Erin, this is my cat Lucy. This video I want to share my experience of taking care of Lucy who has cat flu. Hopefully it will be really useful for those of you who have flu baby that you want to know what others are doing or if you're thinking about adopting a pet because cat flu is pretty common in animal rescue. Say hi! Let's get to it! So one of the most disgusting symptoms that Lucy has is the nose discharge. Um, he will blow out a big chunk of snot that's like hard and it has like the blue greenish disgusting color. It makes him so unwell because it literally blocks his breathing for like a day, a night, sometimes a couple of days. The vet recommended me to put him in shower with me so that the steam will help to loosen the discharge and aid healing. I literally have to burn myself to get that little bit of steam. I came out with this genius idea. Ba -na -na -na. Face steam. It's obviously a skincare tool for human. It clears your pores apparently. But it's the perfect tool for cat flu babies because it doesn't waste any water, it's really quick to boil and it doesn't really freak out the cat. I do that once a day for 10 minutes or so. It's also a spa for me like on the side. Once I hear Lucy's breath becomes heavier like the sound, I put him into the bathroom with me, put the steamer on, two minutes he will sneeze that out. And also the size of the discharge reduced significantly and it doesn't look as disgusting as before because it's like a little bit softer and a little bit clearer. Except for the tooth, I also use vitamins and supplements to boost Lucy's immune system. So the one that I find helpful is this lighting paste. Um, I give that like two centimeters twice a day to Lucy mixed with his favorite treats. Different brand, different products, but pretty much the same ingredients. So you can just choose this one. I think it's the cheapest. I also shop online from a website called Pet Wellbeing. They have different products specifically for different disease. I don't know how they manage to do that and it's like herbal. One that I recommend is called Immune Shore. I, I think I chucked away the bottle but it looks like this. And also as you know Lucy only has one eye so I pay extra attention to his only cute eye left. I use this ointment. It's like a prescription medication once a day. I also tried this product. It's called Eye Bright Gold. Everything's gold in this company. Fuck waste of money. Waste my gold. That's pretty much all I have to recommend. But before I finish this video, I do want to make two points. One is that if your cat is really feeling unwell throughout the day, he's just not happy, especially if he loses appetite, then that's the point that you really, really need to take him or her to a vet because supplements will never be enough. They need those antibiotics. This to fight the virus. Uh, if you're in Sydney, I really recommend you to go and see Dr. Emily at the ICPCA hospital. She personally has cats that have cat flu. So if you visit her, she will give you the exact amount of medication that your cat needs. All of the animals, especially those that has like terrible experience before, they deserve to be loved, they deserve to have a home. If you are a really responsible person, if you're thinking about adoption, please do go and visit RSPCA and look at the cats there. They are equally cute and adorable. Cat flu, it's like a tricky disease, but at the end of the day, it's not going to kill the cats. It's just going to make their life a little bit more difficult than a regular healthy cat. But if you can give them extra love, extra care, extra time, I'm sure they will be happy as Lucy. Okay, so that's all for my video. Um, please do leave a comment if you have any experience or if you have any good advice to share. If I say something wrong, please do point it out and leave a comment. Um, this is my first video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And bye, see ya!